Have you ever been gaming on your laptop and when you launched a game, it's running at a smooth 60 frames per second or better, only for the frames to dip after a few minutes of playing? Well, this could be just the product you need. Uh, I ordered this because I've been playing Halo Infinite on my Dell G5 SE 5505 laptop. And um, yeah, exactly that happens. Uh, so it's running nice and smooth, probably 40 to 50 frames per second, which is smooth enough uh, when I first launch it. But after literally just a minute or two of playing, you hear the fans ramp up and obviously it's getting way too hot and the frames dip down to about 30 frames per second. So I bought this and today I'm going to unbox it and test it. So let's do just that. So here it is, it's the IETS GT300, which I ordered off Amazon in the hope to get a few extra frames while gaming or at least to maintain the higher frame rate while gaming, uh, keep the laptop a bit cooler. Uh, I should point out at this point that this is not a sponsored video. Uh, <laughs> my channel's not big enough to be sponsored at the moment, I think. Uh, but yeah, here it is. It says, actually, this says it's the 4300 RPM variant, but it should be the 4500. I wonder if they've sent me the wrong one or whether the plus minus 10% covers it. Uh, I'll have to investigate that. Uh, so yeah, it says on the front here, supercharged laptop cooling equipment. Supercharged sounds exciting. Uh, on the back, uh, it says, increase the air pressure difference, make the air accelerate circulation and quickly cool the laptop. Um, okay then. The filter can effectively prevent dust accumulation inside the laptop and ensure the cooling effect. And the filter can be disassembled and cleaned. Colourful LED atmosphere lights, cool and fashion. <laughs> uh, seven height adjustable support for comfortable viewing and reading angles while the support can be packed up. <laughs> I think they've just stuck this in a translator directly and just stuck whatever comes out on the box. Two-way adjustable anti-slip bezel for good laptop retention. The operation panel is on the front side of the cooler for easy operation. Dual USB interface does not occupy the interface of the laptop. I don't know what that means. Um, we'll find out later. Now, I didn't buy it for its aesthetics. I, I think I'd much rather prefer something a little less gamery, but I bought it for the performance, which, you know, it gets good reviews. There's also the uh, GT500, which actually I couldn't find that many reviews for. And they only had the, I think it was the 4300 RPM variants available to purchase, whoops, <laughs> on Amazon. Uh, so I went for this one for the higher RP RPM, but it looks like I've actually got a 4300 RPM in this one anyway. So opening it up, here is our first look at the device. Nothing else in the box, this is it. Uh, where do I open it? Okay, it's got some sellotape here. Let's just remove that. And out it comes for the first time. So this is the underside, obviously. You've got a couple of legs, so you can stand it up if you so wish. But I do not wish, so I'll put them flat back down. Rubber feet to stop it slipping around. Very nice. Flipping it over to the top. So these are the intakes. Sucks air in there, blows out here. This rubber seal is meant to 
sort of seal off the bottom of the laptop to create high air pressure to sort of force air through your cooling uh, built into your laptop. It's got some feet on the front here to uh, keep your laptop in place. Very handy. Stop it slipping around. And it, I, I don't know if it's RGB or what it is, but I'm not really too interested in the garish lights. And what have we got in our little bubble wrap packet here? Let's have a look. USB cable. Uh, now it said it didn't occupy the port, but it looks like it does. I don't really understand what it was trying to say there then. Looks like a replacement seal, maybe? Or can you put the seal, maybe it's a bigger seal, maybe it can go around here. I'm not sure which one I need, we'll investigate later. Air dampers, oh that's useful. I was I was wondering about this actually because obviously my Dell laptop uh, exhausts its hot air through the back. So I was thinking, well that's no good because this thing's just going to be sucking in the hot air coming out of the laptop and <laughs> recirculating it. But it looks like it's got some uh, 3M stickers on there. So you can sort of separate out the hot air, so hopefully it's taken in somewhat cooler air. So that's handy, I didn't know it came with them, and that I was gonna I was gonna make something like this myself, but it saves me from doing so, so that's really really good, really thoughtful. Yeah, and that's just telling you what they are. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's have a look at this rubber seal. I'm, I'm guessing this is a bigger one for bigger laptops. Yeah, so that goes around there. Let's see which size I need actually while we're here. Unplug all the cables from the laptop. Um, I think. Hmm, I don't know. Let's close it up. Oh, look at the state of the dust in there. In a future video, I think I'm going to remove these, um, the mesh inside here because it just accumulates so much dust. I think a lot of that would just blow out straight out the back if it wasn't for these dust filters. And they're really hard to get at because these grills, they're really small, you can't even get like a Q-tip in there. So it's really difficult to clean. Terrible design from Dell. Uh, I think I could probably get away with either the small one or the big one. Uh, let's go for the big one. If it doesn't make a good sale, I'll swap it back. So how do I do this? Oh, nice and easy. Oh, it looks like there's some lighting underneath the rubber seal as well. Let's try again, see how that fits now. I think that looks good. Yep, that'll do. Now, how do you adjust the height of these? Oh, I'll just give them a good pull. <laughs> Don't want to break the thing. But... Kind of the wrong place it is. They need to be further back. If I put that, maybe I need the smaller one. I think. Yeah. I'm <laughs> After going through all that effort, moving the rubber seal. Actually, I need the smaller one. I think. Otherwise, the laptop's not going to sit in the seal. It's not going to do its job properly. 
Right, let's stick these on as well while we're here. Let's remove these. So these are just keeping the little doors on because you can obviously take this off, clean the filters. So yeah, there's your little dust filter. See, they thought of this. Why didn't Dell think of that? <laughs> that you might actually need to clean your dust filter once in a while. Thanks, Dell. Very cool. There we go. That's sitting much nicer now. Put the little clamps in. It's not quite central. Make a nice tight seal. Probably got to be careful closing this with the uh, clamps on there. Don't want to damage my screen. Now where do I plug it in? Aha. Uh -huh. No, is it? Is that where I put it in? I do not know. There's definitely no instructions, is there? Okay, now I'll see what the box was talking about. I think it's saying that it doesn't occupy a slot on your laptop, uh, a USB port on your laptop, because it's got another one on the back there. I wonder if it's got some sort of pass-through. I don't know. Oh, let's see what happens. Wrong way, maybe. Oh, I can hear fans. So we've got a button on the front here for your speed. So one, two, and three speed settings. It's not as loud as I expected, but you probably still would want to have headphones on if you're gaming and you're using this. Oh, I guess that's four speed settings, so you got no LEDs. One, two, three. And then you got button to change the colours of the LEDs, I guess. Yeah. Some garish colours there. I, wish, I wonder if you can turn it off. Now there is an on-off button on the front, and I'm betting that just turns the whole thing off. Yes, it does. You can barely see the LEDs at the bottom there. wish you could turn them off. Maybe holding it. Oh, there you go. If you click and hold it, it turns them off. There you go. That's excellent. Just how I want it. So yeah, there you have it. I don't think there's much more to be said about it than that. Just need to test it now. See if it makes a difference. I'll do the testing in the next video. So please make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the bell icon so that you don't miss that. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And please leave a comment down below. Uh oh, it looks like one of my green LEDs is defective already. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, look at that. That doesn't look quite right, does it? I don't think that's supposed to be red.